Hi, good afternoon. Thank you very much for coming along to this presentation. Uh, my name is Stephen Quirk. I'm the Managing Director of Atom Publishing. And I just want to speak for a, a few minutes, I promise I'll keep it short, on Architectural Ironmongery Journal, which is the magazine we publish on behalf of the GAI. What I want to talk about is a new multi-channel future for AIJ. Um, the three things I want to try and cover today are pretty simple. Uh, our expertise at Atom to help benefit you and your business. Could be helping you as an individual, could be helping you as a brand leader, could be helping you as a manufacturer in the industry. I want to talk to you about specifically the new AIJ channels that we want to introduce. I want to talk about new AIJ audiences that we want to bring into the family of the, of the GAI. Uh, so before we start, let's just a little bit on, on what Atom does. Well, that's important in this instance. We're the publisher of AIJ. We've got 25 years publishing experience producing as it says here award-winning content in magazines that's how it started but of course like all content providers we've moved into to digital websites social media events and video key point about this is we're not just any publisher yeah we started working in the beginning 25 years ago for the likes of MS and the bbc and british airways but since 2002 we've produ been producing specialist content in the built environment specifically for the chartered institute of building for the rics for the riba bre chartered institute of architectural technologists the list goes on why are that why is that important because we understand the market we understand the specifiers the manufacturers the, the how those two how the whole supply chain interacts right through from people installing back up to the manufacturers. And we, we think we understand how GAI and IAI members are part of that chain. So currently we create and manage built environment magazines and websites, reaching literally hundreds of thousands of professionals in construction, in architecture, including clients in the UK and globally. That's no uh, boast. We've got facts and data from Google Analytics that will show who we reach specifically in the UK and globally. And by globally, we mean almost every country in the world. We did check. We have one reader in Vanuatu, if anyone knows what that is, a prize at the end of the programme. Um, briefly, AIJ uh, as a magazine reaches a really important group of businesses and individuals. And you can see them there. This is the latest research that we have that we did in conjunction with the GAI. And it shows, you know, no, no surprises there, who we reach. We reach manufacturers in the industry. We reach IAI members, architectural ironmongers, GAI member companies, and so on. Reg AI, obviously, is the kind of gold standard in the business your reg ai did likely to uh, be an attractive proposition what we don't have so many of is this group down here in the bottom left hand corner uh, architects who read aij or consultants or people working in in construction and those two groups there architects contractors are, are pretty important in the specification chain so that's one of the things we want to try and address with this major change in the production of AIJ. Um, it's a great brand, but it does have limitations. It's only four times a year. That's not a brilliant frequency for all of us to be talking to each other. It's print only. So that's not extremely green, is it? We all, we all understand that. But also the distribution can go awry because people move away. The data isn't as fresh as it could be for, for any organization. So that's a bit of a limitation. 
as I say, it's a great brand. We have wonderful response from people who are advertising it, for example, but it has no digital presence uh, uh, at all, which is what we want to try and correct. And actually, it doesn't reach, as we've just seen with the last slide, it doesn't reach far enough outside the GAI family. And it's brilliant that we talk to each other, and it's brilliant that we talk each other about each other's successes. But we also want to share those successes with important groups outside of the GAI family. You know, those people who specify architects, contractors, clients. We all know that you talk to them on a regular basis. We want to make sure that AIJ does the same. So this is it. We want to introduce four new channels for AIJ starting in June next month, 2021. It's going to be a brand new website that is accessible in the UK, obviously globally, 24-7, uh, whenever people want to log in. And it will it'll feature news, content, updates, all the good stuff that we produce in AIJ. And a little bit more because we want more involvement from all of you, all those people who are members. We want, we want involvement from clients. We want case studies. We want you to get in touch with us. If we had one moan as a publisher of AIJ, it's that our audience, you guys, don't get involved enough. And all you need to do is contact us and we'll create great content free of charge. Who wouldn't want that? Great PR. So brand new website starting in June 2021. We'll also start to create weekly newsletters going out to this audience, but new audiences that we're about to talk to you about. Our, our existing audience will get a weekly newsletter. It won't start straight away, we'll build up to it. But we'll build up away from a quarterly touch point via a print magazine to touch point, which will be 52 times a year, bound to create more opportunities for all of us commercially, creatively. Thirdly, we want to create new commercial bespoke emails that will reach all our existing audience and the new audiences. It'll give brands out there who want to get involved with contractors, construction contractors, I should say, architects, clients, if they want to talk to those audiences and the hugely important existing GAI audience, then they can get in touch with us and we'll create specific bespoke emails that will go out to all that audience. Finally, we want to create a new webinar series so that we can bring the GAI audience and specifiers together to discuss key issues. Uh, those issues are many and various. We want to have webinar series. One thing that the, unfortunately the, the lockdown has taught us is how great Zoom can be in many, in many instances. So we'll try to harness that medium so that we can all get together around key issues. Um, let's talk about new audiences. So we've said we are, we're very happy and proud to, to be communicating with the GAI and the uh, audiences that it brings, but we want to add new audiences. They are construction contractors. They could be contractors with 500 plus employees. We all know who they are, the tier ones. But it also could go right down to, to SMEs, um, you know, the Mama and Papa brands, people who are working locally to us, but who perhaps we aren't in contact with. We can get to all those brands. We also want to talk to, to architects and architectural technologists. We have very good databases, but through great content, we want to bring in new architects and new architectural technologists through the frequency and value of the content we provide. To start with, though, we have the full email list of the Chartered Institute of Architectural Technologists, and we also have all the architects who drop into our other websites. We can reach those people via content and via dedicated emails. We also have access to, to clients, to local authorities, to house builders, and to 25,000 BIM specialists. Yes. Some of those people are extremely high flying and maybe only concerned with very high, uh, uh, high value projects, but there are BIM specialists, as we prefer to call them nowadays, digital construction specialists everywhere and at every level. We should be attracting those people to the 
AIJ audience and the GAI family. All of these audiences, however, are key in specifying AI. And we, reach, and we want to reach them through the following channels now open to the GAI. So these are constructionmanagermagazine.com, globalconstructionreview.com, and bimplus.co.uk. <clears throat> Just quickly look on the right hand side of the screen before we look at the bottom of the screen. That is, in construction managers' case, 75,000 UK construction professionals. As I said, from all shapes and sizes, all colours of the rainbow in terms of their affiliations. So there are 75,000 of those guys and gals. We have 25,000 BIM specialists, distinct from those construction professionals, slightly different, and they're probably a lot more geeky. We do a regular events many times a year with them, and they are specialists, but they're all construction and design professionals. They're an important group. And in terms of global construction review, we've got 135,000 global construction professionals, the same stripe as the audiences we've already talked about, but dotted all around the world. You know, from memory, we've probably got 30, 35% of the audiences in the US, 30% of the audience does overlap with our UK audiences, but they want to know about global issues. And the rest is across mostly English speaking countries the, the world over. So it will be Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Hong Kong. It's a great audience, very responsive to the messages that we send out. So those three audiences, the figures I've given you there, 75,000, 25,000, and 135, are all verified, validated Google Analytics website monthly visitors. So if we put content from GAI on those websites, it has the opportunity to be looked at by 75,000 construction professionals in the UK. I keep saying construction, but that is clients, it's architectural, it's engineers. We can give you chapter on verse on who they are, but it's easier for me to say construction professionals. Um, so you'll get those drop-in audiences visiting our sites on a monthly basis. But bottom left of the screen, we've also got 90,000 GDP are qualified design and construction professional emails. So if, if we put nothing on the website, we could still hit these people with emails outbound, which we send to them currently three times, three times a week for each of those channels. So we've got you know, roughly one and a half million emails going out on a weekly basis. And we want to make GAI a part of that. We want to support the actual institution we also want to support the members so we'll be we'll be putting content on those websites which will have key messages that are going to come uh, from from the uh, management of gai we also we want to put messages on there about members of the gai you know, what you guys are up to uh, what case studies you have great opportunity for you guys to get involved in We've also got, as well as that 90,000 database, we've also got a 5,000 database of all CIAT members. We've had that database for a couple of years and we've been using it intermittently, but we have now solidified that with the man management of CIAT and we can use that post GDPR. So this is the key slide. You, you, I've given you a very brief overview what we can what we can provide to you we want you to get involved so it's really simple you can send us news about your work or business you can email or call the editor nikki roger yeah, nikki's always available she'll hate me saying that but she's a great journalist worked with us for many many years again she'll probably annoyed, be annoyed at me saying that but She's always wanting to hear from you guys. One of her moans is she doesn't hear enough from you. So get in touch. It's free PR. It's, it's great info you can get out to those audiences. Or if you want to be a bit more proactive, you want to make offers that you think these audiences that I've outlined will want to hear, get, get, in, get in touch with Dave Smith. He 
can give you access to the audiences I've outlined uh, in a commercial package. Again, he's got tons of experience and he's working with many brands already in the industry. Uh, and he's happy and willing to talk. He'll give it to you straight. I mean, he will tell you what will work and what won't. If you want to do a bespoke, but you haven't done any branding, he'll say maybe you should do a little branding first and then come on to bespoke. Or if you want to do a simple test campaign, you know, he'll help you with that. He's a professional. So really simple. We want to change AIJ from being a quarterly print-only magazine to a 24 seven website, to a 52 times a year newsletter operation, creating commercial emails. If you need them, we can produce them. We want to gather you guys and specifiers around key subjects and create webinars. Great content, but also great opportunities for people to create commercial relationships. So those four new channels are really important. We want to tell you about the new audiences we're bringing on board. Architects, contractors, engineers, clients, local authorities, house builders. Our new content provision will give access to all of those audiences. <clears throat> That's it. Uh, very short and sweet. Very, very happy to answer any questions. Nikki and I are here now to take any questions you might have. Thanks very much. Hi, good afternoon. Thanks for uh, dropping by. I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, very short and sweet presentation we've just uh, provided. Nikki and I are, are here now. I'm Stephen Quirk, obviously. This is Nikki Roger. Hello. Good point that way. Um, <laughs> we've, we've, got, we've got many questions. We've, we haven't got that long. We've got a couple of minutes, so I'm going to spend um, the, 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 that, that time just answering. I'll carry on, yeah? Okay, questions wise, let's start with this one here. I'm sorry for the delay. Um, here's the question. I'm really pleased that we are now expanding our range of people to target, linking back to the future of AI. Uh, the panel felt we should be educating specifiers, FMs and clients. How can this new benefit accomplish this question? Um, I'm getting a lot of feedback, so I, I can't actually, hang on a second. Right, let's go back to this. Sorry, the technical problem here. The, the the answer the answer to the to the question is great content um great content to our audience um from gai members um demonstrating case studies uh and perhaps a sort of how to specify process uh, uh, Okay. 
I'm sorry about this. Uh, I'm, getting, I'm getting a lot of feedback. Okay, let's answer that question. So in, in, in terms of how can we uh, educate uh, FM and clients? Um, as I said, it, it's going to be case study. It's going to be content. Uh, what we can do is to help members of GAI and uh, RegIO members, for example, to tell us exactly how they work so that we can pass that on to clients and contractors. Um, it, the, 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 the key point is that I think that most of our audience that we're the new audiences that we're trying to represent or trying to present to you are are pretty much au fait with how the specification process works. Uh, but they might not be aware of the talent that's in this set part of the business and they might not know exactly who to get in touch with. So you, the what we've seen over the past few years is is that there's a very uh, limited knowledge of exactly what Reg AI do and and who they are. So, if, so Nikki Roger, the editor of AIJ, what she'll find is we all know chapter and verse on who's building, who's who's uh, who the architect is, who the structure engineer is. But because I don't know, there's there's a kind of uh, a, a reluctance in some way for uh, GAI members to, to 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 get involved. We often uh, contractors just do not know who you guys are. So, how could we get you in front of them? It's going to be about content, case studies, how to specify process. But it's working with you to give us that information so that we can pass it on to these new audiences. So it kind of goes back to a, a, another question we've had, which is how do I get very very bold statements? How do I get editorial coverage? And and and, and Nikki's here. I mean, what she will say to you often is just get in touch with me. Is that mm. right, Nikki? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're not prescriptive about what you can tell us about. It's um, what are your stories? We're not trying to trip anybody up here. We're trying to showcase the work and the views and the news of the GAI membership. So if you've worked on a great project, you know, tell us about it. Any initiatives that you've got going on within your business, whether that's around education, or um, growth or profiles, you know, we, we're here to um, to give you a, a kind of platform to talk to potential audiences. So um, it's working together. We've done some great profiles in the past few issues on some smaller companies, actually. So it's not just a question of size either. It's just, uh, uh, you know, giving you the chance to showcase what you do. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we haven't got long left. Another one quick question. When does all this happen is, a, is one key question. Well, the website, the brand new website, which we're just creating or just finishing creating now, will be ready, we hope, in a couple of weeks' time. We're just finalising the content. And that will mean that all the content on the magazine will be available 24-7 globally, if that's necessary, um, almost uh, immediately after the magazine goes to press. So that happens in, in June. The other, the other issues... How do you commercially get in contact with uh, some of the audiences that we've outlined, for example? How do you get in front of contractors? How do you tell your specific story to contractors or clients and architects? Well, again, the two routes, as I explained in the presentation, route number one for you guys, I would love this route personally, is hotline to Nikki, where you can talk to her about your brand, your developments, your news, that's going to get out to a massive audience. So I would, I would um, encourage you to use that one. I'd also encourage you to say, to get in touch with our commercial team led by Dave Smith and say, Dave, I want to talk to this audience. I want to give out this specific message and I want to see who's watching, who responded, uh, what their job titles are, where they're based. With that sort of data, you know, even half a dozen leads from a commercial uh, spoke email would be amazing. We're generating for some of our clients two and three hundred leads that people can then follow up. I'm not saying everyone's going to turn into business, but it's a great place to start. So that answers the question in terms of website next month. Content is now. You can contact Nikki now if you wanted to, and you can start talking to her. And if you want to talk to our commercial team, again, you can talk to them um, right away. I've got to apologise for the technical hitch. I was getting feedback 10 seconds after I was talking, so apologies for that. Um, also, you can see I'm a very, very old gentleman, so yeah, you can't blame me. I mean, I'm also in the depths of Kent. Again, you can't blame me. 
So listen, uh, really enjoyed the opportunity to talk to you guys. We want to get closer, so please get in touch with us. Please do, uh, yeah. It'd be Nikki, lovely to hear Nikki, from you. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It'd be great to hear from uh, you. My email like address say, really is... is... So I was going to say, my email address is in the magazine, so it's, you know, just open a copy of AIJ or contact GAI if you, if you need my details. Um, but, you know, don't hesitate to come forward. Brilliant. Okay. Just remains to say thanks very much for joining us today.